there's a prover and then there's a verifier. And so the kind of setup is you have some prover who wants to prove to a verifier that they computed some function on a set of inputs. And then, you know, this particular function computed on this set of inputs has a particular output. And so, you know, that's like a very generic setup. And then the key thing here is two things. One thing is the verifier is able to verify that, you know, a certain function has a certain output um, in a much shorter amount of time than it actually takes to run the function. So like, you know, if you have some function f and some inputs x and you want to show f of x equals y, okay, like very, very basic math, um, the verifier is able to verify, okay, yes, f of x does equal y uh, in a less amount of time than it actually takes to compute like to actually do the computation, which is like really, really crazy. So that's kind of the succinctness part. It's like succinctly verifiable. Uh, so succinct just means it's like short, you know, so you can verify it very quickly. And then the other part is the ZK part, the zero knowledge part, where basically I can prove to a verifier that f of x equals y, um, and then I don't have to reveal x. So it's more like I know a set of inputs, you know, and I can keep them hidden. And then I know a set of inputs that, you know, when you compute F of, you know, these inputs, it results in this answer. And the verifier can verify that I know a set of inputs without me having to reveal what those inputs are. So that's the zero knowledge part. And yeah, that's the part that's used for privacy. I think a really good example in the wild of something you might be like, oh, whoa, this like is impossible or this is like so different. But I think something that I tell like a lot of my friends is actually like signature schemes. Public key encryption is actually like, you know, it's not a zero knowledge proof, but, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of this, right? Like when you sign something with your private key, you can prove to the world that, oh, I have the private key corresponding to my public key. But of course, you know, no one knows what your private key is. So, you know, maybe that's like one thing to think about here and, you know, make it less mysterious.